Good evening. A year ago, the CBC ran a national contest to find the greatest Canadian figure of our times. Out of 100 candidates and 10 finalists, Canadians chose my father, Tommy Douglas. Thousands of people, young and old, chose Tommy because he had left an enduring legacy that affects our lives every day. Access to health care for every man, woman, and child, regardless of ability to pay, was made possible because of the courage and determination of this man. From that first experiment in hospitalization insurance in Saskatchewan, after the CCF selection in 1944, to the ultimate achievement of a national Medicare program, Tommy Douglas was architect, champion, political voice and tireless advocate for universal and public health care. Getting Medicare established in Saskatchewan was a hard fight. Tommy fought off the private insurance companies, the Canadian and American medical associations, the media, political opposition from liberals and conservatives, and the doctors' strike. Despite the opposition, Saskatchewan was the first province with a publicly funded health care system and it set the standard for the country. My father saw into the future when he said in 1982, there's no doubt at all that the present Medicare program in Canada is in serious danger of being sabotaged. I'm telling you that unless those of us who believe in Medicare raise our voices in no uncertain terms, Unless we arouse our neighbors and our friends in our communities, we are sounding the death knell of Medicare in this country. And I, for one, will not sit idly by and see this happen. I helped establish the first Medicare program in Canada, and even at my age, I'll trek this country from the Atlantic to the Pacific to stop Medicare from being destroyed. Today, all of us must follow in his footsteps to protect the legacy of public health care. One of my proudest memories of my father was when he and other NDP members of Parliament stood up to oppose the imposition of the War Measures Act in 1970. It is useful to remind ourselves of that action in this day of new threats and restrictions to civil liberties in Canada. Tommy also stood firmly against the war in Vietnam as we do today with the war on Iraq. When Tommy stepped down as leader of the NDP in 1971, he was recognized with the gift of an independent foundation that would support social democratic research and innovative progressive projects. The Douglas Coldwell Foundation was so named because Tommy wanted its creation to also honor the enormous contribution of the long-standing federal leader of the CCF, M.J. Coldwell. I'm delighted that the Douglas Coldwell Foundation has chosen to recognize the greatest Canadian by producing a DVD of some of Tommy's most memorable speeches. You will see and hear some remarkable and inspiring political moments in this collection, from the 1980 CLC Convention's special tribute to Tommy, to his own tribute to the legendary Stanley Knowles, to his moving and outstanding appearance before the NDP's 50th anniversary convention in 1983. Many organizations helped to find and provide the material in this DVD. I want to give special thanks to the Saskatchewan NDP, to the Canadian Labour Congress, to the United Food and Commercial Workers, and of course to the Douglas Coldwell Foundation. I hope you enjoy watching these speeches. And I hope they move you to action. Please consider joining and supporting Tommy's foundation and help continue his work. Courage, my friends. Tis not too late to build a better world. Thank you. And good night.